To create a counter, we will launch the Custom Designer application. After selecting your printer and part, we'll create a new label. Within the editing window, we will click on the Advanced Sequence Labeling Extra. At the bottom of the screen, we will use this as a counter instead of a sequence. A sequence has a defined end value while a counter does not. Set the start value and remove the end value. We will then add a minimum number of characters of 7. And to ensure that minimum character limit is reached, we will add a padding character of 0. You can then define whether you want to add the counter as a text or a barcode using any of the 22 supported barcode symbologies. We will add it as a text object, where you can also add prefix and suffix information to your counter. When ready, drag and drop your counter onto the specific area of your label. When ready to print, you're able to increment your counter by a specific number of values. A real-time print preview will show all of your labels on the screen. After printing, you will see that your counter values automatically increment from the last previously printed value. Should you have made a mistake, you can print previously printed labels dating back to one week. After reprinting, change back to increment counter and the previous printed value is remembered. So you are always printing a new counter value.